Okay, guys. So they wanted to show you some progress on the multiplayer. So I've got here Unity Editor, uh, and on the right side I've got uh, Nox Player, which is basically a Node Phone Simulator. So I'm gonna just start. Um, I'm gonna go to Options. Yeah. And I'm gonna start a game. So I'm gonna create a game, go into multiplayer, new game, and then I'm to, I have two options: either to create a game or to join a game. So I'm gonna create a game in this one. I'm gonna put some name. Uh, can be like a um, room. Yeah. Press OK. And I'm gonna create a room. So I'm gonna. Uh, then I have got a couple options. I can choose the character which I want to play. Some of the characters are locked, you will need to uh, get um, in-game points in order to uh, to buy them with in-game points. You can change the name, I'm going to change the name, it's going to be Ivan. I'm press OK and I'm going to press Ready. So uh, here in this screen we are waiting for the other players to join. So I'm going to go to Unity Editor screen and I'm going to um, create uh, new game and I'm gonna press join game this time so in one's room this is the room that we have created and then I'm gonna press this and I'm gonna as you can see here on the right side you can see somebody's joined but you don't even see the character image and you, you cannot see either character name so I'm gonna put it like I have um, I want to so when I'm ready I'm pressing the button ready and then it appears here, and then I can start the game. So I'm going here, and I'm starting the game. So now, as you can see, both of our players are appeared on the screen, and um, we can uh, go around and check and check and things. So, and uh, let's try to check what we have here. So I've got a uh, Unity. Level here. Let me check that. Um, go so you can see actually what's going on. The other character also is checking that. What's going on there. So we are here and we are seeing the destroyer. I'm gonna pick it up. You can see that uh, on the second one it appeared too. And we can you can see that the it's completely synchronized. So then we're gonna go to the second room. And we're probably going to die here. So the other character just died. I'm gonna kill the bastards. Kill him. Yeah. So now, if we try, we have a here. We have a, this red spot, which is basically representation of the level end. So um, I'm just gonna check what's in the boxes here. Light extender. So if we try right now, if we try to get out when our friend is dead, I'm gonna get this message. I'm gonna get this message, you can finish level with, uh, without your campaign. So we're gonna go back into the game. We have to go back to our character here. And let's check what's... We got, we got a shield here, so we're gonna use a shield. And now, when we are next to our companion, we can just press this button. And we're gonna watch add in order to revive our companion. If we have points, we can use points, but we don't have points at the moment. So we can just watch add to revive our companion. Then you can see our companion is alive now. We can play him we can play again. And we're gonna go with this guy, and we're gonna go to pick up um, some lives because he feel he's pretty bad now. So then we're gonna go and we're gonna open another box. We're gonna pick up another gun, and now if we're gonna go to this point, we can see that the level is finishing, and we can see the statistics of the player. So we can see uh, how many points we got, uh, how many uh, enemies we killed. So then we press continue, and we are loaded next level. So after that, uh, we can go to another level, kill these guys. We're gonna come back now, so you can see the other guy working, not working on these two. So another feature. Uh, so for example, when we go back 
Uh, another feature is if you want to continue playing your previous multiplayer game. So you can go to multiplayer again, and you can go to uh, you can press continue button this time, and again you can two options: create a game or to join a game. This time I'm gonna create the game here. I'm gonna create a room. It's gonna be a random name room. Then we are gonna go to the second image, and we're gonna press get continue, and this time join game. So now we can join the same room. And we can choose the skin now, so I'm gonna choose again the same skin and uh, you can see the points are saved here, so we've got this in-game points here and we're gonna press ready here and rest ready here. Then we're gonna start the game. And as you can see, uh, one of the characters, they saved all of their previous, their previous features, their previous guns, so you can see the guns that we had in the previous game, we still have it now. And for example, this guy he has the same, also the other gun, and he has a shield on, and the in game points, and enemy skills. So let's try to go and check what's on the other level. guys now okay when we kill these guys let's move to another level you can see statistics so everything is saved and synchronized so when we are here uh, I'm gonna show you so the other thing what we can do like uh, when there is no sometimes like you have this uh, it might be disconnected. So when the game is disconnected, uh, that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna switch off internet right now, and you can see that uh, the screen says connection is lost. Try to connect in main menu, and then we go into main menu, and then we're trying to. Okay, so this time uh, we are going to. I'm just going to show you what happens when all the characters die. We're not even going to try to resist. So when the, both of the characters die, we got this screen. So game over and we have two options. Go to uh, exit the game or go to main menu. And if you choose going to both of them, basically uh, destroys the progress of the game. So if you die in the game, you're going to lose all the progress except uh, in-game points you earned while killing enemies or picking up uh, levels. So we're gonna go back this menu and we're gonna the menu. So we're here. So yeah guys. Uh, basically this is the progress which I've done. So uh, I've got a couple things to fix and then I'm going to assemble levels. And I guess very soon the multiplayer is going to be done. Thank you and bye.